Hey folks, Chit Fadens here. And if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you know I'm in Japan. Yay! As my voice also tells, I'm a little sick. Anyway, I went out exploring the used camera shops around here and while I found a hypergoner for a decent price, the true find was actually a 55mm Kenko Magic Portrait Filter. It does look a lot like anamorphic, so I took it out for a spin and this is what I got using the contact set, the 35mm and the 50mm. I also tried on the 28mm but vignetting was too obvious. You can already see the inside edges of the filter on the 35mm shots. The most interesting thing about this filter is, as the name states, that it is a portrait-oriented filter, so performance is designed for close focus. I can't get sharp infinity or any further distance, but I can come up really close to my subjects and still get decent focus. It plays really well with high-key scenes and there's a diffusion to it that also helps with making nice portraits. You have to stop down your taking lens though. I couldn't get anything close to clean faster than f4. And yes, it flares. I didn't know the stretch factor for it, so I had to figure out myself and the result is 1.10, not big at all. As a matter of fact, I didn't know much about this thing going in at all. Uh, the whole basic concept that a magic portrait filter is something that makes people slimmer is bizarre to me and I wouldn't have picked it up if it didn't look like an anamorphic adapter. A few months ago, I think, I saw some people commenting on a similar filter on the Anamorphic Shooters group, but I did not chase the subject, so here I am playing with this one that I found by chance. In terms of price, I got this one for free, which is great, but I found a couple on eBay going for around 30 bucks. Is it worth it? I really can't tell, but I am keeping this one as a souvenir. What do you think of this filter? Is this the ultimate solution for anamorphic on a budget? I mean, it has better flares than the nylon streak filter. It doesn't have bokeh, but it only costs 30 bucks. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments and send me some suggestions of things to do in Japan. I've been here for a little while. I'm working a bit. I'm working a lot. And I met some really nice people and I hope we start collaborating soon. And in the meantime, Subscribe to the channel so you can see what comes up and hit the like button for this video. I'm Jit Fadens. I hope my voice comes back for next week and I'll see you then. I'm out.